thank you to the union professors, staff, and families. Because of you, we have gained the academic and social capital needed to unleash our potential on the world. And one more thank you to those who have decided to be here with me for yet another virtual event. I'm talking to you, mom and dad. <laughs> It is an absolute honor to stand, I guess, rather sit in my childhood bedroom <laughs> before, in my unbiased opinion, the most resilient, determined, diplomatic, diligent, gregarious, intelligent, and charming class that Union College has ever graduated. All jokes aside, I am super privileged to speak in front of the faces of those that I regard with the greatest respect. So I decided to write this speech because I feel as though a lot has happened and a lot has changed and ultimately a lot has to be said. So I opened my laptop and I did what I usually do when I have an assignment due the next day. Um, I stared blankly at the computer screen and I cried. <laughs> Initially, I thought about all of the loss. Together, we lost so many things previously recognized as promises. We were promised a senior spring, one that would be superior to all other spring terms and one that would mark the completion of senior year's most daunting task. We were promised a spring break. We were promised a graduation ceremony. And most importantly, we were promised the warm embrace of our loved ones. Together, we had all these promises taken away. And together, we experienced major heartbreak. Finally, together, we learned a very valuable lesson. That nothing is ever promised. Now, each of us has experienced loss in a very different way. For some, the trauma endured has been more life altering than for others. I'd like to take a moment to recognize and to send love to all of those who have suffered the loss of a loved one during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, if you're anything like me, you are actually personally offended by all of these circumstances, like the world was collapsing, but only around you. In response to all of this madness, I started anxiously reading books, including 101 Questions to Ask in Your 20s and The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now. <laughs> Now, I hope that I wasn't the only one having this obvious of a quarter life crisis. <laughs> These books were both provocative and insightful, but failed to reach the core of my anxiety. At this point, I just wish there were a book entitled Pandemics for Dummies, <laughs> Coping Mechanisms for Union College Seniors. This is the perfect time to draw on the wisdom of friends who don't say, I can only imagine how it feels, but rather, I know exactly how you feel. Because I couldn't find a relevant quote in the previously named books, I'm both comforted by and thrilled to have the opportunity to quote one of my very peers and dear friends. After my house of 12 girls, can you say chaotic? <laughs> settled back into our respective houses and settled down our rampaging emotions, we received an email with the subject, a little something. Attached, a document. Thankfully, my friend, Rachel Kessler, was able to remind my house and now our entire class that we must march forward. She writes, in a single moment, we learned something that otherwise would have taken us many years. That life is for living, not for waiting to live. There is no right time. There is only now. And we don't know what the next now will bring. What we take, what we learn, 
and how we grow from this brutal lesson will define us for the rest of our lives. Thank you, Rachel. Each member of the class of 2020 has gained a unique wisdom that only massive uncertainty or a pandemic can teach an individual. The losses we have felt will serve us as fuel, fuel that will propel us into the future with a fire that will annihilate adversity. Now, of course, more uncertainty lies ahead. But now we are equipped with the proper tools, tools that just can't be found in classrooms or self-help books. As masters of navigating uncertainty, we understand the power of compassion. We are backed by an army, our union community, that is primed to support us along the way. We have transformed into students in life's classroom and we have learned that we are stronger together. It is time to reclaim our now and to unleash our potential on the world. So, class of 2020, stand tall, remember your strength, and whenever and wherever you may find a soldier dressed in garnet, know that you are home. Congratulations and thank you Union College.